for those of you who don't know, I was a full-time PhD student at a physics lab in France and I was doing my PhD work there basically while also managing my social media, my blog um, and also creating content for clients and so the contract with the lab that I was working with ended a few days ago, yesterday, ended two days ago and right now I'm completely free almost well until 14th of June June when I'll be defending in front of a whole panel, a whole audience nerve-wracking but we're trying not to think about it so anyway life was fucking hectic I was constantly burned out and I really really suffered but I I kept going because I knew that the end was not far away but now that it has ended almost I don't know where my life is going to take a turn. So in this video, I will be answering all the burning questions I've been getting on my DMs from people asking me, hey, what are you going to do? What are your plans after your PhD? So for those of you who follow me on my newsletter, they have sort of an idea. But for the others who don't know, don't worry, I'll be explaining all of that in this video. But one thing's for sure, I can do whatever I want in this world. Like right now, if I want, I can go to a cafe, sip on a nice little cappuccino, Look at this. Look at this crap. It's so dirty. Ew. Yeah, I realized that I've been neglecting my house all the while while doing while I was doing my PhD. And this place is a crap fest. Like what is this? I feel like I'm living in a pig's time. So shitty. So let's start the time lapse in three, two, one. So let's talk about my plans over a banana. I got dressed by the way because after this, after having a little talk on what I'm going to do with my future, I'm going to go to the farmer's market because my fridge is so empty and if I don't have food, I will get hungry. I'm going to eat first because I'm so hungry. Mm. Oh my god. Bananas are like the best fruit in the world and if you don't agree, you can unfollow. I, I, it's fine. You and I were not friends, which obviously I I know you're not prob you're probably not subscribed, so you might want to subscribe. Just a suggestion. So let me explain to you what my plans are. So I have been studying science all my life, from the time I was fifteen. No, let's keep this over here. So from the time I was fifteen, I took up science because I was one of the smart kids. And um, that's what you do, you know, you're smart, you take up science, yeah. And then I went on to do my bachelor's and my master's. But all this time when I was studying, I was more interested in the extracurriculars, you know. I would always be into dancing and the debate team. And at university, I was in a dance society, a dance group. And I spent almost all of my university time doing, I mean, dancing. <laughs> Anyway, after my masters, I didn't really know what to do and so I took up a PhD because I mean that's what I thought I wanted to do but in any case, lockdown hit and I had more time to myself so I created this Instagram page where I started showing reels I wasn't really going anywhere and um, after a time it started taking off it really took off last December when I hit 10,000 and since then it's been a uphill journey uphill journey and since it's been exponential at least that's what I'd like to think so at the, at the point of filming this video I have more than 120,000 followers on Instagram and I want to keep working on that and growing it which by the way if you want to learn how to do all of that I have another channel that I will link here or there anyway it will be in the description I'm going to link it somewhere here and you can go and subscribe because I'm going to teach you if you're interested in learning how to grow your Instagram channel how to make reels 
what tech to use, what gear to use, how to use a camera, etc, etc. I'm going to be talking about that in that channel. Anyway, I finally built this business, this online business um, while doing a full time PhD. And I was, it was so hectic. I think the ones who follow me on Instagram, they know that I was constantly working 24, not 7, I mean, not 24, 7, but Seventeen hours a day or something like that. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and I was constantly, I was constantly burnt out. I was constantly in this hustle, and I'm, I'm done. You know, I, I really want my weekends back. I've been doing all of this over the weekends, early morning, late night, and I am so exhausted. Like, like right now, my contract is, has ended, and I feel like I can breathe. Like. Like I, the fact that I could clean my balcony is a huge thing. I could not do that before. I didn't have the privilege to clean my balcony. Anyway, as much as my mom hates this idea, I am going to go full time on content creation because I have gotten to a point where I've, I'm earning a decent amount. The revenue from my from my business is almost the same or even more than what my colleagues who earn in a company after, who join a company after the PhD earn. Of course, it's their salary and mine is the revenue and my revenue, a lot of my revenue goes into back into the business as an investment. So finally, what I get is a bit less, obviously. But that's not the point. I want to be scaling up on this, right? So I want the revenue to go up, invest more, earn more basically so i just want to officially apologize to my mother and all the aunties like all my mom's friends and all my relatives for taking this really really unconventional path like i don't know where it's gonna go and i know my like my mom would love if i would take like a traditional job like a nine to five but i just have one life and i really really want to know what, what would happen if i take this path and i really really hope that people support me on this journey for the moment it's just me and if things go downhill, I know I have only myself to blame and I'm gonna take full responsibility for it. And my mom has nothing to do with it. My mom is all, like she's perfect. She made all the good decisions. I just, yeah, I'm just crazy. I just wanna put it out there into the universe. So next questions. Am I going back to India? No. My business is registered in France. All of the companies that I work with are European companies and Indian companies don't really, don't really pay as much. Uh, even if I do go back to India. So anyway, the, my business is basically here. It's, it's being established here and that's what I want to continue in. And lastly, I have a special someone in France that I cannot just leave and go back to India for without. That I just, that I cannot just leave and go back to India without. And obviously I'm talking about my my beloved spice furniture. Yeah. Wink, wink. You do. <laughs> well, you're, you're the best around the, in the group. The <laughs> second best than you. <laughs> yeah, I meant like uh, apart from me. <laughs> yeah, apart from you. Uh, yeah, I know how to cook. Just lazy, laziness. I, I need someone uh, to feed. Then, uh, you need someone to feed. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, the, yeah. Your roommate. No, I haven't seen her for a month. I guess. Oh really? Where does she yeah. go? Three hours later. Like a super dirty, like a, with uh, all the powder. Like hey, you look pretty. <gasps> oh, oh, he just, oh, he just, 
second fall from a wall, he said, I said, are you okay? And he said, I'm okay, and they're bleeding like yeah, that. <laughs> Why? And you also, what is this? And this was already there before. It's just to protect him. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. And I said, oh, he's so hurt. And he's like, okay, he's hurt. Let's go. <laughs> it's okay, whatever, you know, like, let's scratch all over and get yeah. all bloody, you know, that's life. Ha <laughs> ha